Hello guys! Today, we are going to talk about types of events. This is part 2 of our probability series. Let's start! This is the first type of event, and it is called independent event. Each event is not affected by other events. For example, you toss a coin and it comes up as heads each time. What is the chance that the next toss will also be a head? The chance is simply one half or 50%. What it did in the past doesn't affect any other tosses. So what is the second type of events? It is called dependent events. These are events that can be affected by previous events. For example, drawing two cards from a deck. After taking one card, there are less cards available, so the probabilities change. Let's look at the chances of getting a king. The first card is 4 out of 52 chances of getting a king or 1 thirteenth chances of getting a king. The second card, the first might be king, so the probability will be 3 out of 51. Then, the first card could not be a king, so it is 4 out of 51. This is the third type of event, and it is called mutually exclusive events. This is an event that we can't get both events at the same time. For example, left or right because you cannot uh, go left and right at the same time. You can also have heads or tails. You can't have heads and tails at the same time. And kings and aces because there's no king of aces. I have a question for you. Are kings and hearts mutually exclusive or not? Feel free to pause the video if you like try it okay you've done it this is the answer they are not mutually exclusive because there is so they are not mutually exclusive you can't get both events at the same time this is the problem for today's video suppose you have a bag of chocolates Below are the list of colors and their respective quantities. There are 5 red, 10 blue, 2 white, 3 mixed blue and white, and 6 pink. You are supposed to get 3 chocolates at a time. This is the second and third questions. The second question is, if your first pick is red, your second and third pick must not be blue. What's the probability of drawing red for the first, white for the second, and pink for the third? This is the uh, third question. The third question is, give an example for the following type of events. So we have three types of events. There is independent, dependent, and mutually exclusive events. This is the questions from last video. The first question says, Suppose that you roll three regular dice. What's the probability that two of them will show an even number? So we have three cases and three dice. So these are the three cases. So we have even, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, even. So there is uh, a 50% chance that this uh, roll will be even. And there's a 50% chance that this roll will be even as well. And there's a 50% chance that this will be odd. So we have three cases. So you add one half plus one half plus one half equals one eighth. We have three cases. So we add uh, one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth. We get three eighths. What about the second question? The second question says, in a deck of cards, what's the probability of drawing a card that's black or red? 
what about black and red? So black or red? Why is it certain? Because there are two colors in a deck of cards. Those are black and red. So what this means is that you will get a black or red card because those are the two colors that's in a deck. Black and red is impossible because there are no card that is black and red. There are only black or red cards. And there you have it. That is what types of events are. Make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more educational videos and song covers. Bye!